indeed if you're joining us for the first time a very warm welcome to your wednesday it is time for creative cravings my name is ben mosby and actually we're going to bring you some amazing demos this evening on some absolutely fantastic ranges i'm really looking forward to this show uh, because we've got back on the show for you the vintage diary collection first time i've seen this live in the studio so very much looking forward to showing you that we've got connie fong on the show for you as well those stamps uh, featuring the angels the angel inspiration you guys have loved if you've not yet managed to get your hands on those we'll give you the chance to pick them up over the show we've also got the penny sliders which i absolutely love and of course with it being a creative cravings we've got a hero tool uh, to bring to you a little bit later on um, i'll tell you what it is in just a bit but i tell you what with a show like that with all of these goodies to bring to you we need a hero crafter to take us all through it over the course of the next two hours and well he's one of the best in fact the best male scottish crafter i have ever met it's the one and only hoddy scotty craigled <laughs> Wow, that was an introduction. You are it? welcome, sir. What an introduction that is. Right, you are here, as Ben says, Creative Cravings, while you're here over the next two hours, because you're going to see some incredible demonstrations with the things that we've got on the show. So as I said a moment ago, you might want to get your hands on a vintage diary collection here. You can be doing the layering up when it comes to all the different components. Maybe then you want to start doing your own little layered decoupage using the vellums that are in the set as well. Maybe then you want to do a little bit of colouring. Maybe you want to get the cutesy characters coming in here. So we've got our Connie Fong stamps here. Then we could do another one here. So we've got the girls and you've got a boy within this set here. So we've got old vintage from Vintage Diary. We've got the colouring with the uh, cute characters. And then we've got some mechanisms. Look at these ones. We have got our yes. penny sliders. Don't these are on the about. show as well. Been a while since I've done these ones, Ben. So I'm really really looking forward to getting my hands on these ones and get playing so let's get that mechanism going we will get it going just in a minute so a good selection of different things as i said a moment ago whether it is obviously the vintage side with the colors of vintage diaries maybe you want to go bright modern cutesy when it comes to the character stamps or maybe you want to go all fun movement connecticut with the uh, the penny slider cards and you absolutely can do that as well so a nice selection throughout the next couple of hours ben uh, now, I know you've got a few demos um, lined up, just to ask, I'm not asking because I'm, and I'm not bothered, I'm not bothered either way, but a few people have been asking, seeing as we've got the Vintage Diary collection coming up uh, a little bit later on, are we going to be doing any demos with wax? Maybe. Ooh. When we do the demo, when, whoa. When, when we do the demo, can I turn the fan up to level three? If you want. I don't know what that means. Well, actually, no, I did by the end of Wake Up Call. I was told exactly why everyone's excited about seeing <laughs> the wax melts being used again Literally, live. If you can pull off a wax seal demo with no bother, with no laughing, with no mishaps, I will... I mean, I'll, I'll do my own little Mexican wave in the studio for you. Because the last couple of times we've attempted to do it here, mainly for the fact that the fan's been going, it hasn't turned out great. A majority of you will know what I'm talking about. But listen, we'll look forward to that later on. But now, uh, let me bring you, because it is Creative Cravings, our Hero Tool! Tool. 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 Uh, now, uh, we've been concentrating a lot on storage recently. Two. If it's storage you're after, then you need to get your hands on one of these. Uh, and if you're looking at this and thinking to yourself, well, hang on a minute, what is one of those exactly? Ben, well, yes. What is one of those exactly? I'll tell you what it is. It's a tool, a tool tidy. That's not easy to say, is it? A tool tidy. And if you look at that thinking, well, what, what, what am I going to put in there? What am I going to put in there? Can you get a put? 
You're tools in there. Look at that. For oh, all no, bits. you're not. Oh, yes, you are. For all your, for all your bits and pieces That's that you awesome. need. That's awesome. How cool is that? So for your little craft knives, for your ball tools, your pens, your pencils, uh, your uh, your bone folders, your scissors there, your brushes, everything you need to hand, uh, you can pop into your tool tidy, which I think is rather perfect. And if you're looking at that and thinking, well, that's rather great. This is um, this is crazy little tool tidy here. These, oh, by the way, you're not just getting a one. We're going to give you the second one. No way. Buy, buy Sorry, one, finish. get one half price. No way. Yes way. Uh, so fourteen ninety eight or fourteen ninety eight for the uh, for the collection there. So you buy that one, you get that one half price. Um, it, I mean, come on, this is ideal, right, for any crafter's craft desk. It is. It is. You know, as you can see there, the way that it's just been slotted in, it's threaders on the front. So initially, you would think, of course, for the soft craft side of it but you can absolutely can be using that for what I've popped into here what about doing any of your other uh, tools that you've got around uh, the house doesn't even need to be crafty related no. what about um, uh, dad's uh, shed his tool shed maybe within the kitchen all these little you know whisks and stuff cutlery bits yeah cutlery bits yeah have the knife pointing in not no. out no. safety first um, loads of you loving the tool tidies and Michelle actually saying she could do with the tool tidy because she's lost three bone folders right if you how many three if you've if you like Michelle and you've lost a load of bone folders then you need to grab these Mariah's already got her she uses hers to um, store her uh, glitter markers so that they're super handy basically those are the kind of bits and pieces that I can imagine that would roll off your craft desk and then you lose somewhere and you never find them again so this is a great way to keep them all in one place all nicely to hand um, and you well I get a great deal tonight buy one get one half price that is this evening's hero tool tool Tool. 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 Right, uh, let's move on because it's getting awkward. Uh, now, there's so much to bring you on the show, but this next collection I absolutely love. It is the Penny Slider Collection. You know me, right? And I, I always go on about this. I love cards that do stuff, cards that do things. Um, so, the Penny Sliders do stuff right you've got all of these crazy characters uh that basically um you can with the use of a penny or sometimes a 5p i think works as yes well, um you can create uh, the motion in this case of the little kitty going meow meow look at that meow. 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 um because what because what you get all of the um dies to be able to cut out all of those um, beautiful stamps with some great little sentiments there as well. Cats make life sweeter and smitten as a kitten, but not just kitty cats, because we're also going to give you in this collection uh, butterflies too. And what I love about this is the butterfly comes on a little, um, a little heart grid, if you like. And of course, there's nothing to stop you from mixing and matching these up and changing uh, the kind of little um, track that they run around. It's entirely up to you how you use them. Uh, the butterfly, again, uh, comes with all of these glorious stamps, loads of beautiful sentiments to go with them as well, and it's really simple to do. We've then got uh, this collection here, which is Look for Rainbows. Again, who would not want um, a little sunshine? going around a rainbow, um, which is amazing. Again, all of these rainbow stamps, there's your little sunshine stamp, cut him out. Um, it's really simple to do again with the use of a penny or a 5p piece, as we'll see with Craig very shortly. We've got paper aeroplanes. We've also got rabbits. Uh, let me get them. <laughs> what noise does a rabbit make? Very good. Um, you've then also got <laughs> A monkey? Do you again, Craig? <laughs> do you know why I never had you down for a guy who was doing uh, good animal noises? But that's decent. That's decent. Uh, you've then got a boat. <laughs> no, nothing for that one. We are sailing. <laughs> We are sailing. So again, you've got stamps and dies for all of the characters and creations that you've got in this set. Uh, and then you've also got your spaceman, which is over the moon. <laughs> that, I mean, you probably couldn't hear what Craig was doing there, but um, it, was, it was very good. Are we done? Yeah, thank goodness for that, we are. So basically, 
you've got the track to uh, pop your characters on. You've got all the stamps and dies to be able to create them. And then sentiments with each and every one as well. If you're looking at these and thinking to yourself, well, these are just for the kids, aren't they? Absolutely not. These are for everybody. 69 or 90 is the deal on these. Um, of course, if you're a platinum member, you can take 20% off that price uh, and whack it into your basket. Why do we need these in our life, Craig? <laughs> These are so, so fun. As you can see, even just looking through them to start with, they're so much fun. So let's get straight in and let's show you how these work. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the flying by. This one's all about the butterflies. So I've taken some Nina cardstock and this is five by five. Now the stamp set, you've got a couple of butterflies, you've got some sentiments and you've got some uh, of your florals down at the bottom here to create a scene. And then this is your die set. This is your worker. You've got your two dies that die cut out the butterfly. Yep. You do get a circle if you want to create your own little foam pad layers. However, we will uh, be using uh, pennies, or as Ben says, you can use five Ps, or I think, is it dimes in America you oh, could yeah. use size-wise? Dimes? I think, I think it's, it's dimes. Is it 100 dimes is a cent, is that right? I can never remember. No. Oh, you have to tell us now. I don't know. Is is there pennies in the US? Is it pennies, cents and dimes? Yeah, they call them pennies, don't they? Please can you let us know, US viewers, we're very uneducated when it comes to the coins uh, that you would use. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, please. Um, let us know, let us know. We don't know. But um, with the UK coins, uh, does a 5p roll better than a, a penny? Uh, a 5p um, works. Better than a penny? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say a penny, it's all about the foam pad that you use. Ah, okay. It's all about the foam pad. Traditionally, when uh, these were created in paper craft form kits in the past by other companies, what you would uh, do is you would use your traditional old style 5x5 five five square foam pads, uh -huh. which you can still do now, they work. But what we have been doing and what works really, really well is taking a foam pad I've got here, and we'll show you this later, and it's just creating your own little circle foam pad by uh, using your scissors. You can get small circle ones out there, but if you don't, then you can, of course, make your own. But we will pick upon that shortly. So all that I'm doing just now is I'm taking the two floral stamps and then I'm layering up into each corner. So I've got my four corners here. And then what I'm going to do is let's do a little bit of colouring. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I do have one that I've already coloured so we can get to the actual concept of this one. But we've got the tri-blend brush markers on the show. Oh yes. Or I believe that they were on the show. They are on the they? show, they are, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of colouring using these ones. So these are similar to your tri-blends, but for the fact that they are brushes, correct? That's right, yeah. So think of all of the techniques that you can be doing when it comes to their, our illustrator pens. So it is our illustrator pens, basically, in that concept. But what we've got is we've got them in a tri-blend. So this is where we have got, for instance, the green shade, and we have got the light, we've got the medium, and then we've got the dark all contained in the one pen. So instead of three separate illustrator pens, we've now got them all in the one. So that flexible nib that we've got at the end, they're incredible quality. So you can still be doing exactly what you would do with the illustrators. As I say, these are illustrators, but in the tri-blend format. And then we're going to go in and I'm going to colour just one section just now, Ben. Okay, uh, loads of hellos and... Um Messages, Beth saying good afternoon to Craig and Ben from upstate New York. Uh, Connie says hi from California. Good evening, says Pamela. Uh, Craig, Ben, CTV crew and uh, uh, Team Social. Always exciting to see more demos on my most recent purchases. Yeah, that's what this is all about. If you bought any of these items recently, uh, you're going to love this show. Woohoo, says Rose. Let's go, Craig and Ben. 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 Uh, Pamela says, I sent in a photo this morning of my vintage diary storage decor uh, that I did. Pamela, maybe we will have a little look at that later on if we can uh, dig it out. Lots of love for your shirt, Craig. Uh, he's looking very lemony today, isn't he? Very sort of sorbet-like. Very tangy. Uh, the colour. Hey! Uh, lots of people saying, bring on the wax seal. Bring on the wax seal! <laughs> uh, I really we'll don't know what I've let myself in for for this, do I? Uh, uh, well, it appears not. No, it appears not. Uh, and Carrie Valentine on YouTube says, you two are too funny, the makings of a roadshow. I'd love to do a roadshow. Do you know what, when it all gets reopened up again, everything, I, whether it's here in the UK, 
or indeed um, a road trip to the US. I'm well up for that. Oh, little I camper would be. Van. Could take a little live show all around the UK, then go to the US. How much what, fun would that be? What about a world tour? A world tour. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, Celine Dion, she's got Courage World Tour, and we've got Crafters TV World Tour. Mate, I, think. I am. I am up for that. I'm all up for that as well. Yeah, we'll, uh, maybe we'll put it to the bosses and see what they say. Let's go for it. Mm. Coloured in this section, I would do it all the way round, like I've already pre-done on this one here. So we're kind of creating a little bit of a frame. Then what we can do is, I'm going to come in with a couple of these bits here. Now I'm using some of the pattern papers that have come from the Year of Crafts. So this one has been from Year of Craft Box 1. So I'm going to layer these bits up to start with. So we've got the basis of our card blank. Then what we'll do, Ben, is we'll come in and we'll show you the fun part of creating the penny slider. Um, and it appears, yes, there are pennies in the US. So uh, Christine Mahoney, so, and now this is a learning curve for me. So one cent, a penny. Cent is a penny. What? Right, oh, penny. okay. Five cents is a nickel. 10 cents is a dime. 25 cents is a quarter. I wish we had a, I wish we had a 25 pence piece. Why? I, I just, well, I, I, I say that. Do you know something, to be honest, nowadays it wouldn't bother me because I never carry money with me. No, I doesn't need to. Don't carry money. I, so. I just do uh, use my card. Mm. Uh, Georgina's you... saying she wants a 99p penny, uh, a 99p coin. Uh, yeah, I suppose, uh, yeah, I suppose it is really, but like, like, I'm like you, I just don't carry um, cash around um, these days. I just tend to carry cards. But the, the, the one that I thought was a bit weird here in the UK is when we came out with the two pound coin. Mm -hmm. I never really, never really saw no, the, I didn't. the point of that. We still got that in circulation. Didn't see the point of it. Yeah. I don't find it that, I mean, why is, it, why is a two pound coin, it's not that useful, is it? Is it? Does anyone else like two pound coins? I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking garbage. Um, Rebecca is saying, hi all. Uh, I'm <laughs> Sounded like a horn there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> hi all. It's like Brent's Rebecca. got talent. <laughs> <laughs> He's off. Um, that hi card's all. rubbish. He's off. <laughs> 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 hi all, says Rebecca. Oh my God, we're only 18 minutes into the show. <laughs> Uh, hi all, says Rebecca, for the 14th time. I'm going to have to get some of these penny sliders. It's my nephew's birthday next month and he loves everything to do with space. Oh, the wow. The spaceman will be perfect. Yes. And you know what you do if you see a spaceman? Parking it, man. Yes, Craigie boy! <laughs> do you know where I learned that from? Me? No. Oh. The good old Vicar of Dibley. Oh, is that a Vicar of Dibley? It's on one of the Christmas, uh, it's, it's the one where she has all the Christmas dinners. Ah, uh, yes. She eats like loads of Christmas dinners. Do you have the Vicar of Dibley in the US? I don't know. It's the, uh, yeah, they what, do. Oh, you do? They do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're they're rerunning that, I think, on one of the channels now, is it? They uh, did, didn't they? Gold or Dave or whatever it is. Very, very funny TV show. I used to love that. So did I. Yeah. Good yeah, old The Don Christmas French. dinner one was uh, very funny. <laughs> did she end up eating about four or something, didn't she? Yeah. Like, couldn't turn any of the Christmas dinners down from the, uh, from the people in the parish. Very, very good. Oh dear. What are you up to now? I mean, obviously you're colouring. So what I've done is once again, on another piece of Nina cardstock, I've yep. taken the butterfly stamps and still using my tri-blend brush, uh -huh. I'm going in. What I'm not doing with these ones, Ben, is that, because they're alcohol markers, you can do your blending techniques. I'm not doing that. What I'm doing with these ones is I'm just using them as a base colour. In other words, I'm just laying down each colour individually and I'm not doing any blending or shading. Mm -hmm. So I'm going in, so if I go in with these ones here, and then what I'm going to do is if I bring in the dyes that match for these ones as well, and these little icon ones, things like your butterflies, maybe the pussycat or the, uh, other, uh, the other ones within the set, because they're really small, if you wanted to use them as an individual stamped impression on any other projects, they're going to go through your mini and your go, because they're small enough. So that's no problem at all. And then when it comes to the actual concept 
of the penny slider, the, depending on the size of cardstock you use, they'll go through your junior as well as your midi. So, and it's the junior that I'm going to be using yeah. as it is. So, uh, you know, you've got a good variety of machines that you can be using when it comes to create these. In Canada, says Amy, pennies are no longer used. So perfect for crafting if you can find them. I just think um, these are brilliant. I, we, I, like pe loads of people in the UK as well collect pennies and uh, you know what do we call it like shrapnel? Here, don't we? It's like your bits and pieces of like change and you know pennies, two p pieces, five p coins. Loads of people just pop those in um, you know little piggy banks and stuff. So yeah, plenty of them lying around. I'm sure. I've got like an old, it's like an old sweet jar, and then if I do happen to have any uh, change or that, then uh, I just pop it, pop it into there. What I used to like, I don't know if they have them anymore, is the, the, uh, the coin counters that you used to have in the supermarkets here. And you used to be able to take, oh, they still do them. I, yeah, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Oh, Coinstar, where you take along like massive, like, you know, like you, if you had like piggy banks or like, I don't know. Some people used to collect them in like massive bottles and you'd take them all along and just tip them into this machine and it would count out yeah. all but of did, the- Did they not used to like, charge you like a fear percentage uh, or something i think they did if you decided to hmm i'm trying to think if you took them to the supermarket you just used to get like a coupon that then you could spend in the supermarket right. i think a certain amount of it went to charity i think that's what happened so uh -huh. you didn't kind of mind you know what i mean a bit of it went to charity but it was a good way to get rid of all your um all, all, all your uh, bits and pieces of change but you want to make sure you've got your bits and pieces of change now so you can make your uh, your penny sliders you see well that's it you want to keep a hold of them now yeah keeping a hold of them. So talking of the penny slider, what I've done is using one of the core colour cardstock, also from the 8x8 paper pad that come from the Era Crafts, I've used my circle nesting die, stitched edge, and I've laid the heart within the middle, and we're going to run it through our die cutting machine. So what's going to happen is uh, that full centre bit's going to come out. Now there's one of the components within the middle you want to keep, the other bits that you uh, don't actually need, but you could use elsewhere. So if I take this one out, so we've got the main aperture, that's what we need. And we also need that inside heart as well. This bit here, you don't need, but you could easily be using that in other projects. Maybe mm. use it as a little frame or something, pop a photo, use it as a shaker uh, aspect on another project. So don't ever bin them, you can use them. So what I'm then doing is using the same size nesting die out of, also from the Year of Crafts, the pattern paper, I've gone and die cut a circle that we can see on this one here. So I'm going to get these all laid out and then I'm going to get the butterfly. I'm going to get my pennies. I'm going to get my foam pad. And I've also, for this one, I'm going to use my foam on a roll for this one. So let's go in and take these bits. Now, for the bit that I'm away to do, you can use normal foam pads if you so wish, but I am just for time and speed. I'm going to use my foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam, foam on, on a roll. roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Hey. That's Georgina. What was that, Georgina? The first time you've heard us sing Foam on a Roll? Oh, no, don't say it again, Ben. Don't say it again. Yep, that's it. And uh, if, if ever it's mentioned, we have to sing it. Um, Debbie Robinson, I was on with the other day, she kept saying it, so I kept singing it, and eventually she was calling it. Uh, oh, I watched that, yeah. Foam on a, 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 a circular um, thing. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah. So oh, go that, will, that will go on a crafty, uh, the Crafty album once we've done all the songs. It was funny. It was funny. Oh dear. I just love all our shows that, yeah. that we do. Me too. Everyone's personality. It's hilarious. It's, it's all about the fun. Hilarious. It's all it about is. the entertainment. And do you know what? The main thing is going by the comments that you guys at home send in during the show and afterwards. You love it. And that's the main thing as well. Yeah, I had a lovely comment earlier on as well from I think it was Shaddai who was saying like she loves it here so much because like we have the fun, we have the banter, we have the chat, but we get in all the demos as well. And yes, you know, sort of other other places, you know, potentially who there's too much chatter and not enough not enough demoing going on. But I think we get a good we get a good balance of that, do we? We get a good mixture of that. I, I like to think so anyway. Let us know. 
let us know. I like um, to think getting so. Getting the balance, that is what it is all about. It is. That's what it's all in, all about in life as yes, well. Yes, balance. It is. Obviously, balance being so important. Well, this week here in the UK, but this month in the US, with it being uh, mental health awareness, yes. isn't it? So, uh, and that's a key thing, it's all about balance. Absolutely right. Balance and fun. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm just going to explain this just now, Ben, just so uh, anyone that is new to these. I've just put this back layer onto the back. Yep. Now, what I've done on the reverse, I've gone around with foam that's a circular disc. <laughs> and then what I've also done is pop foam in the middle bit here. Yep. Now, it is quite, it is, um, quite um, not quite clear, it's important. Don't put your foam right up to the edges. In actual fact, maybe even this one, I've gone a bit too close. Because you need to take into account the penny needs ah, to slide around. Yes, 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 yes. So make sure that you've got enough width all the way around. So my other parts here will, would be fine, but just to be safe than sorry, I'm going to trim these bits. And then what we're going to do on this one here, I like to assemble mine separately. It's just my personal preference. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with uh, just my finger, take the back ends off. And as I said uh, a moment ago, this bit, it's not essential that you have to use foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. That's foam where we would use roll. it as a shaker so that we don't get any gaps. <laughs> but sometimes you might find it easier to use when it comes to your penny slider. Good out. I'm, I'm just glad that Craig carried on and he, he didn't allow me to finish the song. Uh, Director just saying, Ben's on a roll, Ben's on a roll. Not anymore, he's been told to shut <laughs> up. He's getting his P45 <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> and then like, what, what like. I'm doing now is the other way that you could do this is assemble all this on the circle layer before you pop it onto the card blank. You know, and I, I think that's maybe a way like Sarah and that would tend to do it. But I do like to assemble it all together. It's just my personal preference. So what we're gonna do is I'm then going to set that one to the side just now. Oh yeah, I was going to say you need to bring in the penny. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is let's just freehand cut. So you it, said earlier on it's all about the foam pad you use yeah. more than the coin. So you want that roundness with the foam pad so that it's going to roll and spin as it goes around the actual workings. Now it has to be roundness. Don't worry if it's like a novelist shape or not a perfect circle. The fact is you've got that roundness to it will work. In saying that, as I said at the start of the show, traditionally you would do these with your small five by five millimeter foam pads. That'll still work if that's all that you've got. Mm. It's, you know, it's just about the movement. So if you want that little bit more easy movement, then do cut your own into small ones. Or if you've got tiny, tiny little uh, nesting discs or dies, they will still cut through your foam pads as well. So I'm going to press that onto my penny. I'm making sure that's secure. So the essential things are make sure you've got your foam pads in the right shape and make sure you've got enough give around yes. yeah. whatever they're rolling around, yeah? All about the give, yep. So I'm going to then place this one in now. So if I see how I've got movement now, yeah. I've got enough movement. If that foam under the, the, under the first layer here, if that was too far to the edge, it would stop that penny. So then I'm going to come in with my next penny and place that on the top. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with either butterfly. You can use whichever one that you wish. I am for this one, I like to use red liner tape. Or what you could do, if you wanted to, use um, your glue gel. So that's optional. But let's go in and we're going to take this one off. Let's place that into place here. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to use this butterfly that we've also done. And we're going to shape it slightly. And what I've also done as well, using one of the sentiments that comes within this set here. So we do have bring in a piece of white. We've got sending so much love and we've also got flying by with butterfly wishes. Oh. So that's what I've gone with here. So let's go in with a foam pad. Let's just go in 
and then I'm going to position that one. Now the next key part is to make sure that you don't block. Oh, you don't yes. want to block any of the workings. So what I'm going to do is going to go in and then we're going to pop one here, one here, and then I'm going to go off. Now I am obviously going off slightly the top. Well, actually I'm not. Is I've that just... not about the, block the butterfly? Sorry? Is that not going to block it? So you'll, uh, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm going to leave you in suspense another couple of seconds oh. or so. Okay. Let's then put it in with the foam. Let's go in. I'm going to go down into here. Now, sometimes at first it will stick slightly. That's just to do with the fibres mm -hmm. of your cardstock. But get it going, get it moving. So you're just going to work it all the way around, even if you need to give it a little bit of a helping hand. Just let it flow all the way around. Once the penny starts to get that movement, when the penny drops, Love good it. one, Georgina. Penny drops. We're going to get that to move round. He says, "Go on, go on, go, go on, on, butterfly, go on, Mister or Mrs. Butterfly. Go on, butterfly. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. We're getting, we're getting there. Loosening up. We're a getting bit. there. We need to just loosen up a, a little bit. <laughs> I just had to say. I was thinking that it needs a bit, needs a bit of oil, doesn't it? <laughs> So let's, there we go, so at this point, let's go in. Now, at this bit, we would need to let, let it dry slightly. There we go, all good. Here we go, so let's just pop that one in. And then I'm going to put that there. Do you want some drying time whilst I recap well, on we'll the it. Yeah, I don't want to go and work it. But we will show you this one again, and we'll get that so that the fibres are going and it works right. But you get the idea of where you've got your penny slider. And because you've got the circle disc of the foam pad, not only will it slide all the way around, it will twirl round. It will. I will make sure it twirls round by at some point of the show. Um, well, listen, um, a phenomenal demo, and at least it gives you a bit of an idea as to how easy it is. Whee! Whee! Oh, go on, don't you stop. There you go. Uh, it gives you a bit of an idea how to put these together. And again, it shows you, go on, it shows you um, how easy it is uh, and how achievable it is for everybody to make these cards. The Spaceman, again, is just amazing. Look at that. Yeah, look at him. Orbiting round the solar system. Uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, here's a butterfly we might get to be able to get to move. Here we go, let's give this one a little spin around. There you go, look at that. That's what your butterfly should look like. Yeah, fluttering around. How cool is that? With the, uh, the fluttering effect. So cool, such a great, great way to be able to make these cards. And let me just again show you all of the different um, characters you're going to get in this collection because you're going to get Putty Cats. The Putty Cats is, um, is, the Putty Cat is gorgeous. Again, the dies to be able to cut out the characters, the dies to be able to make that track, of course, as well. Smitten as a kitten uh, and cats make life sweeter. Just a uh, few of the sentiments that you're going to get there. Whee! Uh, then you're also going to get that butterfly that we've just shown you. Again, love the fact that you've got all the stamps to kind of um, make the border for that uh, particular card. The butterfly runs around the heart. Then you've got that um, sunshine uh, on the rainbow. Gorgeous. Sending you sunshine and happy thoughts. Look for the... Look for the... Oh, look for the rainbow. Look for the sunshine and look for the bare necessities as well, should you wish. Uh, you've then got the, um, I love the paper airplane, go on, fly, paper airplane, fly, yeah, wee. Um, so that's included as well. Follow your heart. Um, the sky's the limit. Enjoy the journey. You've then got that little bunny rabbit we showed you a few moments ago there with his little carrot. Uh, I'm all ears. I'll catch you if you fall. Again, all of these stamps and dies together to make life easy. I love the monkey, wee. Uh, the monkey's got his bananas there. He's got his um, tree going on too. You've got um, It's Your Birthday, Go Bananas. Uh, then you've got the little, um, the little yacht, the little uh, boat on the water. Boat on the water. Uh, wishing you smooth sailing and have a nice trip. And then last but by no means least, that spaceman that we just saw uh, flying around in space uh, with his rocket. I am... Rocket man. <laughs> I'm over the moon for you. Adventure awaits and you mean the world to me. 
So cool. Love the fact, again, that you've got the dies to be able to cut out your stamp, and it's so simple to be able to put these cars together, as we have proved. And I think the drying has taken place the other side of the studio. £69, $90, less than 20% if you're planting them. Now we should be able to go over and see Craig's butterfly fluttering by. I'm just being careful because it is still wet, but if I work my way around, can you see how we've got the movement with the butterfly? So we're just going to go all the way around. Oh, typical. Oh, it was Come working on. a minute ago. That's when we went back. Come on, it was literally just, there we go. Um, there we go. Well, Crafty AJ says, if you rub an anti-static bag around the track, it stops it sticking. Uh, so there we go. Thank you, Crafty AJ, for those uh, hints and tips. Uh, would hot glue work well to adhere to the penny as well, asks Rebecca Jarrett. Yes, yeah. If you can, I would always suggest using your glue gel. But, you know, when it comes to your hot glue, if you, for whatever reason, you need to make a quick card and you like to make the penny slider, yeah, use your uh, hot glue. Uh, and thank you to everyone who loved the, um, the song. I won't say it because I'll have to sing it, but um, Hannah says the song is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the night. Uh, and Rebecca on Facebook says, oh, Ben, my two and a half year old daughter was dancing away uh, to the song. Well, that's good to know that we've got people dancing to it. Um, and uh, Marcia Pahelia says that is one of my favourite songs, Ben. Well, you are welcome. Maybe I'll do like a dance mix or something with it soon and we'll, uh, we'll stick it on the, uh, the crafty Christmas album. Now, um, we've got a few pictures to look at. Oh, and a birthday shout out to do as well. Um, a shout out, my birthday shout out. Uh, but let us have a look at um, some of the pictures coming in. So Pam has decorated some of her storage oh, wow. with the vintage diary. This is gorgeous. Wow, that is phenomenal. I love that. How incredible is that? So again, just shows you, doesn't it, all of the different things that you can do um, with our collections. And that really is thinking out of the box. It is, isn't it? Pam, it that's really phenomenal. Is. I've got a lot of love for that. Uh, and also, must just say, um, hello to Michelle, who messaged us earlier on. Now, this uh, is Michelle and her son, Tracy. Ah, yes, Michelle, I remember you saying now on Wake Up Call, uh, it is Tracy's birthday today. Oh, look And uh, Michelle uh, made Tracy, oh, uh, this, oh, a Apex. That's what, that's the, um, the new Fortnite thing, isn't it? Is that, is that a waterfall card? That's a waterfall card. That's brilliant. But is it got all the different characters on it as well? My son would love that. Absolutely love that. Ah, uh, and then uh, inside with a um, twist and pop. Is that the twist? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, 26, maybe, potentially. But then you've got all the different characters on there. Now, see, if I concentrated and I'd listened to my son's uh, random chatting about the, uh, the characters in the game, I would know the characters that you've put on the card there, Michelle. Uh, but yes, absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for sending that in. And um, yeah, if you want to send in any more pictures to us, please feel free to. Uh, we must just as well say uh, a very happy birthday to Sue Richmond, who is currently watching on YouTube. Can we get a shout out for Sue Richmond on YouTube for her birthday, it says here. Well, absolutely. Uh, Sue, happy birthday from me. And a happy birthday from me. <laughs> there you go. Happy birthday, Sue. Have a brilliant day. Um, they're, oh, they're all saying happy birthday in the gallery as well. Uh, have a lovely, lovely day. Loads of love for the Penny Slider collection. We are going to move on from that right now, but uh, if you want to grab it, there's the details. The Vintage Diary is the next collection to have a look at, and I'm very excited about this because um, I literally am seeing this for the first time live in the studio. I don't know how I've managed to miss this, um, but it is a wonderful collection. Loads of you um, have already taken advantage of this deal, but if you haven't, this collection is amazing because it's 64 elements, two 12 by 12 paper pads, and the deal on this today is phenomenal. You're saving $27.95 or $37.75, uh, and you're paying just $103.90 or $139.50 today. Less another 20% if you're platinum, of course, uh, taking that down under £100 um, and uh, knocking you another 20% off the price at the bottom of your screen there as well. But let's have a look at everything that you're going to get. Uh, I mean, I'll just show you this randomly because there's so much. You've got uh, this gorgeous Dear Diary embossing folder. Um, again, so much detail in this. I love the sample that you've got here, just bringing out um, the books in a different color and then that glorious script on there too. You've also got your uh, moment in time. Now this is a 3D embossing folder. For those of you that were um, watching Wake Up Call earlier on, uh, you'll have seen Craig's demo with this too, but absolutely gorgeous with the ink pot and quill. I love it. Then 
You've got your perfectly Parisian stamp set. Again, so much to love about this. The theme running through this is gorgeous. The key and the feather uh, and the stamps on there too. Um, I love the little Paris postmarks and the birdcage. You've then got included in this collection the gorgeous antique frame stamp and die set. This is nice again because you've got the die that cuts out this gorgeous stamp. You've got the ability then to be able to pop in your own sentiments, which we've got here, the adorning sentiments uh, stamp collection. Uh, you've got your dear diary. You've got especially for you things like a true friend remembers your birthday, but not your age. And if you're looking at these really wee tiny little sentiments here, you're thinking, what's they, what do they say? Well, that says j'adore, that says thank you. And that one says with love. And those ones you can pop into um, the little frame here, which is absolutely fantastic. Then on top of that, again, you'll have seen this earlier on, how cute is that pocket watch? Stamp and die to be able to uh, cut that. It's such a great set, isn't it, for scrapbooking? Um, a great set for your, um, your memory books as well. On top of that, you've got your die, which is your page edges. So you've got your kind of um, notepad detailing on here, this torn edge effect as well. I know lots of you prefer to sort of do that by hand, but again, if it's something that you can't quite get the hang of the die there for you to be able to do that is phenomenal then we've got embellishments that wooden frame and corner um, you I know you love these kind of added embellishments within these collections that is also included on top of that your metal charms it's a 10 pack how glorious is this we've got the five charms that you're gonna get you'll get them twice over but it's butterflies that glorious bird cage I love this key on the chain to that um, heart padlock. I mean, how stunning is that? Um, you've also got the um, flower and the little bicycle there too. This just keeps on coming because as far as embellishments are concerned, you've got 30 meters of traditional jute twine. You've also got uh, three meters of your cotton ribbon of each. So you've got this one here with all the beautiful butterflies on, this one here with all that beautiful script. And yes, you love the wax seals you've got your wax seal kit included in there as well the two different colors uh, and there's two different seals so you get the kit you get the wax um, and the seals to be able to create um, those gorgeous designs now on top of that you've got your consumables first time in ages that i've seen um rub-on transfers so your six by six rub-on transfers four of these again with loads of different sentiments uh, loads of different kind of embellishments and frames and swirls all in the keeping of that vintage feel which I absolutely love and then we come to your paper pads the luxury pearl pad 12 by 12 let me turn it that way up you're going to get 24 sheets 250 GSM uh, in these three glorious colors and then wow wow we you've got all of this gorgeous vellum again this 12 by 12 you're going to get 12 sheets and how stunning is this again running through that theme uh, of that gorgeous vintage diary i love the script i love the florals i love all of the little embellishments you've got the key running through there as well all of the kind of um, detailing there with more script it is absolutely gorgeous uh, and for 103.90 or 139.50 uh, this collection is yours it's phenomenal isn't it and we've been chatting a lot about this recently how this would work with some of the collections that we've seen most recently the um, letters from the heart caring thoughts these collections really do uh, kind of work brilliantly on their own or work brilliantly uh, with the other collections if you've got those two um, items available individually but again the best value for money is to go for this full collection and boy oh boy is that a massive collection saving 27.95 37.75 uh, and of course take another 20 percent off that if you're a platinum member right we uh, will have a look at a little demo with this um, let's see what uh, mr krieg is up to over the other side of the studio as we get ready to uh, see the now, oh now is this the demo the one or is it another one from this collection i can incorporate i can do it if you want with this uh, one. I, whatever you've got planned you do it i don't want to i don't want to kind of you know well mess up I, your demo. do you want me to be honest with you yeah i hadn't planned on doing it today it was until wake up call and you asked me to that i said i would do it so i can do it on this one or i do have another demo later what do what do you want oh, don't ask me do the one you were going to do and then maybe do it on another one yeah Listen, let's just, let, let, yeah. let's just, 
Should we ask everyone as yeah. well? Do you, do you, are we, are we mucking about it or do you guys want to see another wax seal demo? Let, let me know in the comments. If so, we'll do it at the end of, of this demo. Yeah. You know, give you time to vote. So either now or later. Okay, so do you want to see the wax demo on the end of this particular demo or later on? So now or later, uh, vote on Facebook, vote on YouTube, and uh, we will wait and see. It's pretty what pointless, comes isn't it? Because we that. know what the results are going to be. <laughs> we know what they're going to be. <laughs> But we are asking, and that's the good thing, because we're live, we get to do that here at Crafters TV and ask you guys live straight away. Yep. Get vote now. Uh, what are you going to show us with this collection? It's one of those collections, again, right, where it's so difficult to, um, to kind of, you know, know where to start almost. Yeah, there's so many different ways that you can go. The good thing with, obviously, these collections... Now, of course, you know, many of have noticed when it first came out, there was, obviously, that bigger collection. Sometimes it can be... I'm, I'm going to use the word off-putting sometimes. Okay. If you're just bombarded with all this crafty goodness that you think, oh, I'm spending all my uh, hard-end money on that collection, but I'm scared, I don't know what to do. So, you know, maybe you do get it and it sits at the side, or you get a slightly smaller, I say slightly smaller, it's still a big collection within this one here. Lots of key elements. So if you do want to keep it very, very simple, or then you can start to progress and do things like, let me just show you this one here. You know, this is when it's uh, like a little notebook. That's you know, amazing. it could be a little memory book, a little pocket to pop them in. So this is where you can start very, very, very simple by folding a card blank in half and then doing a couple of layers and that's it. Or then you can go to town and do all your different memory books. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do a mediocre kind of card. Now, as I said in Wake Up Call this morning, the demos that I had prepped, I had done them originally with the paper pad. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is there was a lot of requests saying, what do you do with vellum? You know, you usually think of it just as a wrap. Mm -hmm. You know, what else can you do? And it's like I, I explained that use it as part of your mats and layers. Yeah. So instead of using your cardstock as... Uh, the, the mats and layers, use your, use your vellum. Are people afraid to use the vellum because they always think it's too nice for mats and layers? Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Or, you know, you just think, initially sometimes people think it's too see-through. Yeah. That, you know, although it's maybe got a bit of a design, it's too see-through. So that's on craft card, but then onto white card, you know, or if I bring in the pad that you do also get, which is the 12 by 12 pearl card, so let's just very quickly as well, let's show you. So that is on the brown tone. Looks really nice. Yeah. That is on the purple tone. Oh, yeah. And see how it doesn't look overly different, but that back colour, that just makes just it very, very slightly different. Yeah. The tones within the colours of the vellum, that's what holds it all together. Mm. And obviously, of course, it's that background cardstock colour that changes it slightly. That instantly makes it stand out compared to against... Yeah. The brown, more subtle on the back, so it blends in. So what we're doing then is let's go in here yeah. and let's do a few mats and layers. And then what we can do... Let's I love you using vellum, Craig, by the way. I think, yeah, I think it does puzzle a lot of people. I think, it I think can do. get a bit confused with vellum. When can I use it? When can't I use it? Again, there's no rules, really, but isn't it nice to see it in a slightly, yeah, slightly different way? It is. And the thing is, I think the other part that is confusing to some people, unknown, is how do you stick it? Because mm -hmm. it can be see-through. Oh, good point. So how do you attach it to your card stocks? So I'm still going to stick with my craft card, keeping in mind you do get that 12 by 12 card stock within the pad, but I'm going to go with craft card for this one. So let you know, same mats and layers that I would do. So this is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. So this layer, I've come down a quarter of an inch to four and a half by four and a half. And also the other thing, don't worry about, don't worry about keeping the design in sync throughout. So that could be one way. And then the continuation part here, you might want to do it so that it's going to be at an angle. So yeah. don't think as though it has to run in parallel with each other. That's the good thing with a collection like this. You can absolutely mix and match the different layout ways. So let's bring this one down. So this vellum is two inches by four and a half. So that's given me that layer. And you can see on, on this one here, so if I go back with this one, I can't remember which way up this was, but this layer now, instead of it being that way, it is actually going to be on its side. 
So what we're going to go in with here, and what I, uh, when we're talking about it in wake up call, what we want to also get across is any other either past collections or future collections where you might get a smaller option, Ben, yeah. but you don't get the paper pad, but you get the vellum. Please don't let that put you off because it, in some cases, you don't actually need the background paper pad. You've got the vellum, you've got the design there. So yeah. use it, absolutely use it. So what we can do now is let's start to layer these ones together. And then what I'm going to do is my card blank, five by five, and I've scored halfway down, I'm going to do a fold back. Now, I clearly wasn't thinking, with this collection here, white works really well. It really does work well. I would be inclined to use more of an ivory or cream card blank. Okay. But obviously the other night when I was prepping it, I, I was obviously in a white phase. So uh, white, as you can see, white does work really well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Tiffany Trolley of Tricks. The Tiffany Trolley of Tricks? Yeah, at the back here. That's not easy to say at 10 to 8 on a Wednesday night. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Wait, wait, wait saying that on a, on a Saturday night then. <laughs> After a few gins. A few what? A few gins. Oh, a few gins. I thought you said a few jimmies. A few what? Jimmies. Jimmies. I was like, what's that? You're you, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm going to do to adhere them... I love that. Like that. Oh, see you, Jimmy. Do it again. See you, Jimmy. <laughs> see you, Jimmy. <laughs> this is my little selection of gems and pearls. Now, this is what mm. I use to adhere vellum. And you yeah. might think, eh? But bear with. So this one, let's go from kind of like my, my white ivory sort of colours. Well, I've got a bit of peachy that would work here. So let's go for, let's go for them ones. So what I'm going to do is let's go in and let's layer this one up first of all with our cardstock. I'm going to do these layers first and it's about hiding the adhesive when it comes to your vellum. Okay. So I'm going to go into that one there. I'm then going to go in with this one here. And then what I'm going to do is let's go in. I'm going to use my tacky glue. So I'm going to go in with my tacky glue and I'm going to do kind of like four tiny little dots oh, okay. in each corner. And it's tacky glue, so it will, it will uh, adhere. And I'm going to pop them in and I'm going, to, I'm going to press, I'm going to hold for a moment or two. And when it's vellum as well, it's always nice to be a bit free flowing. Now this is going to be quite taut, but if it wasn't, don't worry if you get any of uh, the edges kind of just folding up or wrinkling up. It looks quite nice mm. when it comes to vellum. Now, straight away, to be honest with you, I wouldn't actually need those pearls, Ben you can't see the no, little dots of adhesive. Unless you're really inspecting it. Well, no, so one of the key ones is our tacky glue. Yeah. If you are using a glue and you find that you do see the dots of adhesive, what we do is let's go in with our pearls or, you know, it could be gems or it could be whatever it is. And all that I've done is I've popped another tiny little bit of tacky glue over the top of the area as to where my vellum is attached and then the little pearls or whatever you use is then hiding the little adhesive dot underneath gives it a bit of a faux brad look but it's a nice way to attach the vellum and i say it's the nice way it's actually the way that i attach it 90 percent of the time so let's do that again i'm going to then do little dots so I'm going to do that with this one, Ben, and I'm going to do the same on this little layer that I've got here. Uh, I love to cut butterflies out of vellum, says uh, Kay Resthead, so they're light and airy. It's nice. That's a really good idea That's as well, idea. yeah. Um, oh, lots of hellos have just come through as well. Let me just say a few hellos. Uh, Felicia is watching from Toledo, Ohio. Hello, Felicia. Uh, Violet in Hastings. Oh, sorry, Violet Hastings from North Carolina, USA. Bridget from Northern Virginia. Uh, Dean Maddox says, hello, uh, Team Social, Crafters, Craig and Ben from Kentucky. Hello, Dean. Hello. Uh, Judy says, hi from Oregon. Hello. Clary says, hi from Soggy, South Carolina. 
And Lee Allen says, afternoon from sunny Calgary, Canada. Uh, Jerry Johnson on Facebook. Um, well, your secret is safe with us, uh, Jerry. We won't uh, tell your husband what you've... Nope, we won't tell. Is he listening? Hopefully not. And uh, as far as the wax seal uh, demo is concerned, <laughs> Carrie says, yes, we want to see the wax demo. Craig should have a chance. Pamela says, definitely now, Craig. Hannah Hicks on Facebook says, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I know Hannah would be like that. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And what did Lynn say, um, George? In the words of Arnie, do it. Do it now. Come on. The turtle, turtle toy. What was it? The turtle, turtle man. man doll. Turtle man doll. Just looking for the, no, not the turtle man. Turbo man. Turbo man. So, um. You've got to, it seems like you've got to add a wax seal onto your finished project here. We do I get to turn that. the fan up to three to make it more difficult for him? What is it exactly <laughs> about the fan? <laughs> no, I don't, it's not an easy playing field though, Joe. Is it, uh, Joe? George. George. I'm sure, um, I'm sure the fan wasn't on three. Or maybe it was. I don't know. We'll just see how Craig gets on with it. I'm, well, I'm hopeful that he's going to do a great demo with the wax seal because we haven't seen one done for a while. <laughs> we will do it in a moment or two. Yes. We will definitely do it. Oh dear. So can you see now how I've done all my layers with the vellum? Yeah. And um, as we picked up on a moment ago, because I used our tacky glue and really quite small, I didn't actually need our little pearls because you couldn't see the adhesive, mm. but that now hides all those little glue dots if you were to use some. And then there we go. Um, I, I don't, for me, obviously we've just done it and you've seen it and you've seen it at home, but realistically, you could look at that straight away and think that was pattern paper, not vellum. And that is the point that I'm trying to get across, that you can absolutely use your vellum as a background as well as maybe an accent detail. So don't ever uh, think about you're not able to use uh, your vellum in different ways. Yeah. I'm going to trim this bit down. And then what I'm going to do with this one, Ben, is let's layer these. What These are the ones you love, isn't it? Uh, I think these are brilliant. I, I love the one that you've got there, which is kind of like the um, the edge of like a um, like when you tear out a, a, a piece of a notepad, isn't it? But yeah. the other one that I really like, the um, that other one. This you've got one. There, the this one edge. here. Because yeah. like you say, a lot of people do that by hand, don't they? Yeah. But again, a few people might struggle to get that that effect, get it exactly how they want it to. Exactly. Yep. That's it. Sometimes, a lot of times, when you try and not be perfect, you yeah. try and be rustic. You know what happens is you end up being perfect, or it's not your, your eye isn't happy with it. So you end up faffing about with it, and you do more with it, and it defeats the purpose. The whole point of tearing and leaving it. Yeah. Whereas now, Sarah's come up with in this one, so it's a little die, and then what you can then do is I've done it on this small piece of card but then you can then do it on larger pieces if you want let's just carefully tail that one off and then what we're going to do is let's go in with a little bit of fryer brown mm -hmm. and then i'm going to come in with one of the um the what do you want to call them the thingy my bobbies the what do you call them the what the thingy my bobbies blending tools not blending tools no right. the oh the um sentiments the rub-ons oh, rub rub-ons that's it so uh, we're going to use that in a moment and show you how those uh, those work. You get four sheets of those with all sorts of different sentiments and uh, swirls on as well. Um, if you want ink pads, by the way, details coming up on your screen here of the um, the collection that we've got in the studio, he says, uh, looking for them. Uh, details at the bottom of your screen for your uh, five piece vintage diary um, opaque kit. What I love about this, again, you, you think about all the kits that we're bringing you now, we're putting together kind of like perfect partners. So we've chosen the five set of opaque ink pads that you get. So you get your um, straw bale, you get your smoke plume, uh, spa blue, uh, seal brown, and your fryer brown included as well. So again, kind of takes the, the guesswork out of it just a little bit if you're thinking, ah, oh, what ink pads can I uh, use? Which ones will go well? Well, this set you can get for 19.96 or 27.80. Uh, today and of course those um, opaque pigment ink pads are uh, going to be great for uh, all of your blending um, all of your kind of um, you know, embossing um, ideas that you want to do too but um, some lovely colours in there some lovely colours um, so add those into your basket again for this collection that are such a gorgeous selection to work with but we were saying in wake up call 
as well how, for instance, the other uh, collection from Sarah, Letter from the Heart, although it's uh, more of a pastel tone with your mints and your um, kind of like your lilac -y colours, these are still going to work well with Vintage Diaries, so don't yeah. ever think you can't cross over when it comes to each of wow. the uh, collections. Um, yeah, yeah, and again, I, I'm, um, I can't believe that I've missed this. That I, this is the first time that I've seen this um, live in the studio. When, yeah. did, it, when did this launch? Month ago? Not that too long ago. Mm. No. Oh, we, oh, we sold out, the elements sold out super quick. I think that's what happened. Maybe that's why I missed it. it but was I love quite it. Quick. This pocket watch as well. Are you kidding me? It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's um, as gorgeous as you say, but if I hold still, mm. You see all of that incredible detail yeah. within the pocket watch there. But then in saying that, if I come down, even into this one here, and what it's all built around, and it's all based around building the layers of your sentiments. So what you've got is, we've got these layers here. If I then also come in, I should have another sentiment set somewhere around me, uh, what have I done with it? There is another set within the set, Ben. I had it not that long ago. What have I done with it? Here we go, here we go. You've got so much stuff in the bench over that side now, so oh, big. No. Oh, now he's dropping stuff all over the floor. Got oh, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh. Um, loads of you loving the collection, by the way. Lots of you loving the, um, lo loving the hints and tips coming in. Sue says, great tips, Craig, thank you. Uh, and Kathy Lear on Facebook. Thank you for the ideas to use the vellum. Uh, I'm not accustomed to using it, uh, so I needed ideas. <laughs> and Rhonda Crowley on YouTube says, in capitals, I cannot wait to see the wax seal demo. <laughs> yeah, it's Lol. coming in a second, or in a moment or two, we will do it. Oh dear. Now you do get another stamp set. I was using it earlier, Ben, so I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, no, I've only got boards over this side, so I can't even yeah. help you out, mate. No, it's okay. What I'll do is, all that you would then do is come along with the die, like any other die cut in, and die cut it out. Within the other stamp set, what you've got is lots of lovely sentiments that fit in the middle of this one. Yeah. What it also does as well, if I bring in this stamp, this tiny little stamp, on the same stamp set, there's really, really diddy little, tiny little words or, you know, three word sentiments where it just fits into the middle. So then what we can do is let's also come in now. We'll do a bit of fry our brown as well. And then I would come round. Let's go around the edge. And then I would come in with one of my, either my brush markers or tri-blends. And then I would go round and pick out little accents within this frame and this sentiment. So what I do, because I know everyone's wanting to see the, the um, wax seal. Mm. So what I would then do is just picking out little detail oh, yeah. around. So there's that one. And then same with the pocket watch. I've gone in with our uh, tri-blend pen and it. just picked out that colour. Mm -hmm. So let's move that out the way. Let's assemble this in now. What I still need to do very quickly, what I would do with the rub-ons, because it's water reactive, I would leave it just a couple of moments just to let that ink settle, take the backing off, and then what I'm going to do is place that where I want to. And within the sets, you get black font, you get white font, and then you also get um, a brown font as well. And then take your lolly stick or your uh, popsicle stick I'm going to use the back of my tool. What I also like to do is just have a little bit of sponge backing underneath and I'm rubbing. Oh, Hence okay. the name rub-ons. So I'm just rubbing, working my way along. I'm not doing this full bit because I've roughly cut around yeah. and that's all that you need to do is very roughly. It doesn't need to be exact. It's nice to see rub-ons in a kit, isn't it? It's not something it I've is. seen a lot of. Um, it's not something we see a lot of. Was it something that we, we used back along? Uh, yeah. So rub-ons and the old style peel-offs, you know, your mag uh, metallic kind of peel-offs, which I, even to this day, I'm not a big fan of. I'm, I've never have been uh, a big fan of them. Uh, rub-ons, on the other hand, you know, they're so elegant. Mm. Depending on the font that you use, you get that elegant look. I don't know when it's on. 
Pop this up. How do you know when it's on? So what we're going to do, once I've given that a really good rub over and I feel that I've gone over a number of times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one end with my pokey tool. Yeah. And then you can see that the font is still uh, attached to my bit of backing. Right. So I'm going to go back. Actually, maybe let's just go onto the harder surface. Let's go into this one. So we're going to press again. Don't be feared as well to put a little bit extra pressure because you want to push all of that font all the way through. And then what we can do is we can start to pull back. And do it carefully because see how there's a little bit missed here? Yeah. So what you do, let it go and go back over uh, the bit okay. that you've uh, picked up. <laughs> So think about exactly, I'll George. let you see what Georgina's it just is, said. It is George, a little bit like those tattoo transfers you used to get at the school disco. Remember those? You, those though, you used to have to have them like a sponge on though, didn't you? Yeah. To get them to, to, get them to stick on. Oh, I used to love, that's what I used to spend all my money on at the school discos. Or the little tattoos that came wrapped in the little bubble gum. Oh, tattoos with bubble gum. Well, you know how you would get a little bit of square of bubble gum, you got a penny or two yeah. pence or that. You opened it up, but there was also a little wrap around um, a tattoo. Oh, uh, you lovely. just dabbed it on as well. Yeah. I wasn't allowed bubble gum. Were you not? Nah. Oh, did you then just put it in all the little girlies here? Did you? Well, no. What hap what happened was um, I was I we. I basically wasn't allowed it in the first place, but then um, a kid at school had some bubble gum, so I had some at school. It was a hubba bubba. Um, love, of, hu uh, love hubba yeah, bubba. Yeah, hubba bubba. Mum would never know about it. Uh, and what I'd done, you see, uh, the teacher was coming, so I took the bubble gum out and put it into my trouser pocket. <gasps> I forgot about it. And then the, uh, the trousers went through the wash. Oh, no. Uh, and you can imagine the, the mayhem that, it, that, it, that ensued there. Um, so, yeah. I no still don't way. eat bubble gum to this day. <laughs> but I did not put bubble gum in the, the girls' hair. Did you not? No. Did you? No, oh. no. Oh. oh, no, I remember you were good at school, weren't you, from what your yeah, mum said the other week? Yeah, uh, I was a goody two-shoes. You were a goody two-shoes. Apparently. Shoes. But you were allowed bubble gum. I was allowed bubble gum, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hubba Bubba was the one. Did you have, do you have that in America, Hubba Bubba? It was, it was, always it the, was the, the taste of it was lovely. Yeah. Juicy Fruit George used to that, did you? Juicy fruit was more chew juicy fruit was chewing gum. That was chewing gum as opposed to bubble gum. And you'd need if you wanted to blow bubbles with that, you'd need like quite a few sticks of it, wouldn't you? Whereas with the, like, your bubble gum, you have a bubba, and, you know, one one uh, one little square of that, you were away. Yeah, and you used to blow them so big, didn't you? You used to blow them so big. Ah, uh, now, now. For those of you who have been waiting for the moment, here is the moment you've all been waiting for. One man, one wax seal kit. We thought it would never happen again. Debbie tried and failed. <laughs> Debbie Fisher tried and it looked like her car had been attacked by a seagull. Nobody was brave enough to try it again. But one man came to the fore, his man, his man, this man, was Craig Laird. <laughs> Craig, <laughs> Craig is about to. So here we go, the conditions are the same right now. The fan is on the other side of the studio. I can hear, hear it whirring away. So the fan is going. You're under the same conditions that, uh, that De Debbie and Debbie were both in. Can you pull off a perfect wax seal demo? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out. <laughs> Let's Craig, go for it. It's over to you. I've never ever had any pressure when it comes to wax seal until now. Let's go for it. So two things. I'm not going to be able to keep that up for about five minutes. Carry you on. can, of course, either use a lighter because you do get the center. You get the wick that comes through it. So either a lighter or you can use a heat tool. Also, either straight onto your glass mat or into your non-stick craft mat. Yeah. So what we're going to do is let's go for, I'm thinking of the color of the card I've made. So let's go for this goldy color. I'm genuinely nervous about this. <laughs> so what we're then going to do Get the heat tool, I'm going to hold it at an angle and I'm also just going to help it. So I'm just going to slowly turn it around. You use a match at home, right? You'd like, you'd like to use a lighter at home if you were to use this. I actually go between both. Okay. Sometimes I'll use a lighter. The um, heat tool is a lot quicker 
Now I get what you're on about about the fan. Yeah. Yeah. Straight away, I instantly see what you mean yeah. about the fan. The fan's coming into play here. Can you see the wax? But you're controlling it well, Craig. This is what Debbie did not do. You're making the swirl go there. So you're, you're actually creating that pool, that circle, to be able to stamp the uh, to stamp the ceiling. This is this is looking a lot better than the. Uh, the <laughs> I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to guide it. I'm trying to guide it. The level of skill here involved in doing this and the concentration on Craig's face is, is amazing, but he's smashing it. I knew you could do it, Craig! So okay. when you've got enough, <laughs> yeah. what we can just do is work that one around and then even just give it a, even just a second or two, yep. just a second, you know, la, 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 la. Then go in with your chosen tip uh -huh. and then we're going to go in and I'm going to press down. And then you even give that a moment or two just to let it sit. Uh -huh. Giving it just another moment or two just so that we're letting that wax start to cool down. But as it cools, it's still going to cool into the shape of the tip. And then once again, maybe just a moment or two, we're going to rock it back and forwards. And then we've got our wax seal. And it might, it might still be a little bit wet or it's still a little bit, um, or it's drying. Let's see, let's go. So the edges will come away because that's not fully dried, but then there we go. Was there ever any doubt? So um, we've got a I have faith seal. in the hottie Scotty, says Terry Tom. Come on, Craig, you can do it, says Pamela Evans. He's absolutely smashed it, everybody. Let's show him some love on the socials. We can all now put to bed <laughs> Seagull gate. <laughs> and we can prove that yes, we are able here at Crafters TV to work with wax under pressure uh, and in the force of a uh, sort of industrial sized fan. That was awesome, mate. Fair play. Oh, yeah, within like three seconds, I could certainly see why you were all going on about the fan because I could see the directions that it was starting to thread as it was pulling away. So there we go. So, of course, you cut. Oh, apparently, I've got to take a bow. You definitely. Oh, let me give you a round of applause again. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do it. Oh, a little curtsy there as well. Sorry, you were saying. Uh, what was I saying? I actually? can't remember. Uh, yes. So do it direct onto your cart. Of course, they're designed for envelopes, seal of the envelopes. That's what they originally were done many, many, many moons ago. But you can then do it onto your uh, non stick mat. The other thing you can do them on, Ben, yeah. is the back ends of your foam pad. So once you've finished your foam pads and you've got the back end of these sheets left over, keep a hold of them, do your wax melts onto them, let them dry uh, a bit longer than what I've done a moment ago, and then they'll just peel off and pick off. So you can use, make them all in a one -er, sit them in a nice little box or something you've got an embellishment to use whenever you like. Uh you did it, Craig. Perfect, says Deborah. Well done, Craig, says Carrie. Excellent job, Craig, says Tracy. Kudos, Craig. The Wax Seal Pro, says Kathy. Sue says, I think we have a winner in the great Wax Seal competition. Here's the thing. He's only done it on setting one on the fan. Tune in tomorrow where we'll get him to do it on level two. No, we probably won't, actually. But yes, just goes to show that it can be done. And actually, you probably won't be doing your Wax Seals in front of a fan. Had a little bit of an issue. Debbie Fisher, apparently she did it onto Zoot. Georgie, are you able to follow the camera over to the side bit as I walk around? Oh, here we go. He's being cheeky now. His camera's going with him. He's being a bit cheeky. He's, are you putting the seal on there, on Debbie's, uh, on, on Debbie's thing on the board? Uh, Debbie Fisher? Yeah. He's a naughty little scamp, isn't he? Hey. <laughs> uh, let's do... Oh, oh, here's, what's he writing now? This is hilarious. What are you putting? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> I love that, Craigie. I love that. Oh dear. Um, yes, <laughs> but hang on a minute, you're all congratulating him, but now you're going, oh, well, Debbie did hers on jute. Well, you never said that in the first place. So listen, he's the king, congratulations. Can't change that's, the rules. That's hilarious. 
Uh, job done, let's move on. Uh, I just want to show you everything that you're going to get in this kit, by the way. So all of that gorgeous vellum uh, comes with it, as we've talked about. And how nice, actually, not only is this um, a gorgeous, gorgeous collection of vellum, 12 sheets you're going to get, but how nice to be able to see that demo with the vellum to actually show you the kind of things that you can do. And actually, to say with this, yes, it is OK to use your vellum um, for your mats and layers. You know, it is okay to use this if you haven't got a paper pad. Um, so I think that's fantastic that we've seen that. You're going to get 12 sheets of that. Plus, of course, you're going to get 24 sheets of your uh, luxury pearl pad as well in these three lovely colours. And as we saw, they work absolutely beautifully with your vellum. Those are the rub on transfer. So you get four sheets of those, those six by six um, uh, sheets. So again, loads of different um, embellishments, loads of swirls, loads of beautiful um, sentiments as well. Um, and great to see rub ons back. I think those are super handy for lots of different reasons. You've also got your wax seal kit. We've just seen that in action. That comes with the uh the crown uh, and you've also got a, a beautiful cross on there as well the two different colors you get and you've seen how easy it is to use a wax seal kit i mean phew, who could mess that up uh you've then also got uh, your cotton ribbon pack uh you've also got uh two 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 of those uh, uh different designs you've got the uh, butterfly and you've got the script uh three meters of each then you've got your traditional jute twine, 30 meters of that. You've also got your metal charms, a 10 pack, five there, you get them twice over. So your bird cage, uh, your heart um, padlock and key, your butterfly, your flower and your bicycle. Then you're going to get your wooden frame and wooden, stand up, wooden frame, day, wooden frames and corners. Uh, you're going to get uh, your page edge dies as well. Uh, let me, hang on, let me put these to one side, wait there. You're then also going to get your beautiful pocket watch stamp and die. You've got on top of that, there he is, you've also got your adorning sentiment stamps. Again, all different sizes, all different fonts, and even the teeny weeny tiny ones to go inside uh, the, um, the frames and embellishments that you've got with your antique frame and stamp set. More stamps included here with your perfectly Parisian um, stamp set. Gorgeous. Then you've also got your A Moment in Time 3D embossing folder. That is Stunning. I love the fact that we've shown you that in a different colour so that you can see the background and then you can see that um, ink pot and quill coming to the fore. So it kind of shows you the, um, the 3D-ness of it all. And then you've got your standard. I say standard, but there's nothing standard about this. Uh, your Dear Diary embossing folder there as well with that gorgeous selection of books uh, and that beautiful script in the background as well. It's 103.90. It is uh, 139.50. Uh, 27.95 or 37.75. Uh, there's a lot of disappointment going on in the gallery because um, Debbie Fisher is not back until the 22nd of uh, May. So that is 10 days. Uh, two weeks on Saturday until she's going to see uh, Craig's little hee hee uh, joke over there. But uh, I'm sure we can rely on you to, uh, to, to, to remind Debbie and tell Debbie uh, what that is all about. Uh, lots of love coming in for Craig. Never doubted him, says Lorraine. Um, loving the card, says Pamela. Um, and Cathy saying, I'll never look at a wax seal the same again. Uh, Judy Lynn uh, Cock on Facebook saying, oh, Craig, you are so bad. Uh, Rod is just saying, when is the fish on next? Uh, what a see a reaction. Ten days time. It, 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 there's a bit of time to wait, but I think the reaction will be worth it. Uh, I cannot believe it is 20 past eight here in the UK, uh, which means that we need to take a uh, little bit of a break as we reset and get ready for more demos. Lots still to come, actually. We're going to be looking at the Connie Fong stamps very shortly indeed. Uh, we are also going to be getting you to vote for your demo of the show and indeed taking care of the business of demo of the day. It'll be Craig versus Sarah, of course. Which one will you vote for? Uh, all of that to come. Right now, though, uh, some information for you. Start off uh, with some information particularly for our US viewers uh, about um, our new shipping. Have a look at this. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. 
This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows, plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV. So come join us as we create every day. There we go, uh, lots of information there for you, uh, but keeping you in the loop with everything which is going on here uh, at Crafters TV. And thank you for all the lovely feedback about all the new um, videos and uh, promos that we brought to you as well. Glad that you are enjoying those. Um, yeah, this has been such a fun show so far. I cannot believe we've only got about 35 minutes remaining. Um, thank you for all the lovely comments coming in as well. I know loads of you um, are loving this show as well. Karen just saying, uh, we do love Debbie Fisher. We love to hear her giggle. Guaranteed giggles when Debbie sees that over there on the board. Uh, we love, love uh, Debbie giggles. I think she won't be outraged. Debbie, Debbie loves me as much as I love her. She's not going to be outraged. She might give me a kick if she sees me, because obviously from next week we can... Well, there's a point. From next week, put it this way, I won't be getting a hug from Debbie. Put it that way. No. Uh, while she'll be probably hugging all of us, he will get a kick in the shins. Yep. Um, <laughs> let us move on to uh, Connie Fong, and let's have a look at the Angel Inspiration stamp and die set. This is gorgeous, and actually we had a little um, sneaky peek at this earlier on. And um, what I love about this is that if you're thinking to yourself, well, angels, that kind of, I suppose, leads you down a bit of a religious theme if you're thinking of these got to be for christenings and confirmations and all these kind of things. Well, absolutely, these would be perfect for that. But I just think the characters on here um, lend themselves to so much as well. And the fact that not only do you get the stamps with these, but you get the, um, the matching dies with these as well, makes these totally, totally usable. But also, as we were talking about earlier on, the snippability in these is great as well. So you don't always have to have these um, as angels. It can just be in a lot of the cases that you've got, you know, the little girls and little boys that are featured here, um, you know, in all of these beautiful scenarios. So here you have got your uh, angel whispers with this beautiful little angel with the little dandelion clock flower, more florals and um, butterflies there too, all of the dyes included. But as I say, do you know what? That's suitable, I think, for all sorts of occasions. And the other thing we were chatting about earlier on, whilst these are quite cute, um, they're not so cutesy that you couldn't perhaps give these to someone who is a little bit older as well. The, the kids will love these. I think the kids at heart will love these too. This is your angel wishes. Again, that gorgeous little angel there with the bunch of flowers. They all come with some wonderful sentiments too. Uh, happy birthday, little angel. Uh, you've also got feathers appear when angels are near. Ain't that the truth? Um, you've then got, on top of that, your angel prayers. Again, stamps and dies included there. The artwork is simply phenomenal with these. Um, and I love this one too, the little friendship angel. Um, just for the fact that, well, our, the little character's really cute. Again, you've got the snip ability. If you just wanted to snip his wings off there, you could have uh, the little boy with his little puppy. But look, you've got the little dog and the little cat angel with the halo there too, which I just think is so cute. Uh, sentiments here include things like, uh, may there always be an angel angel by your side. Uh, then you've got this one here, which is the twinkling angel, gorgeous little angel on a cloud, uh, surrounded by beautiful little chicks. And then 
Uh, this here is your Angel Messenger. Again, really, really beautiful artwork. Um, so much to kind of get your um, your tri-blends, your tri-blend brushes into and have real fun um, with this collection. Um, 76 elements in total, all those stamps, all those dies, 60 pounds or $75 um, is the deal on this. And of course, if you're a Platinum member, uh, you can take another 20% off that price. 48 or 60 is the deal on this. We're gonna go over to Craig and get some more inspiration in just a few moments, but I know loads of you have been sending in your uh, pictures. So uh, let's have a quick look at those before we um, get on to show you more from the um, Connie Fong collection. We moved back to where we started the show a little bit earlier on because we were talking about the um, Penny Slyly collection and Teresa has been busy uh, with the bunny rabbit. I love yeah. this. Um, that's cute, right? That is so cute. Absolutely gorgeous. It's so much fun as well. So bright. Yeah, absolutely. Love the fact there's like a sort of a carrot at either end of the trap there for yeah, the bunny to chase after. Which and is look what Teresa's done as well. She's added her own sentiment at the top. Yeah. I'm all ears. Yeah. So you can do that. I do that as well. I just use Microsoft Word. You can use anyone that you want, print out your own and attach them. Um, Lee and uh, Tracy have been busy with the Vintage Diary collection. Again, how cute is this? Using the um, twine, another successful use of the wax seal kit as well. Another successful. However, if you notice, Ben, it looks like Lee and Tracy have been mixing and matching because that 3D embossing folder, I want to say, is from the Lily collection. I think you could potentially be yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so you can mix and match. Just to say as well, no, the, 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 the wax has been done beautifully there. And just to say, the title of that email, um, producer George tells me, is card with perfectly executed wax seal. Love that. Yes, perfectly executed, well done. Um, and Karen uh, has been, again, very busy with the um, Connie Fong collection. Uh, three sort of very different pictures um, as well. Uh, these really are gorgeous. I know, Karen, you sent in lots of pictures. You obviously love your um, your Connie Fong collection, but uh, producer George picked the three that she loved the best. And it goes to show again, doesn't it? As I was trying to sort of sum up in my little uh, summary of the collection, a lot of people will look at these and think, well, they've got to be religious cards because it's all about yeah. angels. But they're, they're so much more than that, aren't they? So much more, so much more. And in actual fact, what I'll do in a moment or two, Ben, is I'll show you how you can actually change it so it doesn't look, potentially look like that. Lovely. And uh, Rosalind Russell. Hi, Rosalind. Um, thank you so much for sending. I'm going to have to get a bit closer to the screen here. Look at the design. Oh, so she's decorated a ring binder here. Okay. Fab is that. So stamped, embossed, and then covered with cardstock. Um, that is absolutely amazing. And again, goes to show, doesn't it? All of the different things that you can do with these collections. Exactly, yeah. So think, you know, if you're into the pound store or the dollar store, pick up anything like that, notebooks or folders that, that you can decorate. Nice to be able to do that. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, uh, Teresa, and everybody who sent in all of those lovely pictures. Uh, but listen, from your pictures, it is time to go over to uh, Craig and time uh, to get on with some demos. So um, what can you tell us about these stamps? Gorgeous, amazing, cute, but not too cutesy, yeah. fun, yeah. religious aspect, but then you can take them away. Earlier on, we said whimsical. Good word. You know, you can then snip into them even more, although you've got the dies to take away the wings if you want to. Love them. Absolutely love them. I actually had the pleasure of launching them with Joe on A Colour Me Happy yeah. in the past. So really nice ones. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the tri-blends to colour mine in. So I've got a piece of Nina cardstock. To be honest, it's a lot bigger than I actually need, but we'll go with it anyway. And then I'm going to use my alcohol proof. I'm going to use my Noir Black for uh, this one. If I pop it on, first of all, I know you already showed the boards, Ben, but just to show you've got your good sizable image mm. here, but you've got this little, uh, uh, the, the little doggy, you've got the cat as well, spinner cards. Penny slider cards. Ah, oh, yes. They're good size for that, aren't they? Good size for that, so why not use them? I would be inclined to use a five pence more yep. than a penny, but you can still use them. Or remember, Perfect. just quickly, going to that penny slider, uh, you can then, of course, use the little disc 
die to create your own foam pad layers if you want. But use them absolutely. The little halo, you've got the stars, you've got on this one, may there always be an angel by your side. Friends are angels in disguise. So really nice ones, really nice heartfelt ones to be able to use. Or of course, you can use your own sentiment if you so wish. So let's pop it in. A, st a stamp like this should just say as well, you do get the, the dies as well. Again, I know Ben picked upon them, but I just thought I'll show you it again while I'm using these sets. You, um, um, what was I waiting to say there? I don't know. And I, I, I was, it was uh, quite, um, was it, it was obviously wasn't it wasn't important, that important. But I just thought that was a good point to make. Uh, Clearly couldn't have been that good a point. You were chatting about the dies that you get with the stamps. Oh, that's what I was away to say. Yep. Now, a stamp like this, this will work with your 6x6 stamping platform, but anything that is sizeable, I would always go for my 8x8 magnetic disc platform, first of all, simply because if you do miss a little bit, it just means you can come back, re-stamp, and get it in the same position every single time. However, as I say, six by six, they'll work with the rocker blocks. If you've got any other stamping okay. platform out there, and it's mm. key to say that, because we fully understand, as much as you guys love us to bits, you may already have another stamping platform, and at the moment, you can't justify buying another one because of the loyalty to us. So therefore, these will work on any of your other stamping platform. Doesn't matter which brand it is, it's going to work absolutely fine. That goes for all our stamps as well. So now that we've stamped that one out, what we're going to do is let's bring in another piece of cardstock. And because I'm going to use alcohol ink, I know we've explained this a lot. It's something that we, we like to do each time. And we've got dedicated shows on uh, YouTube where uh, we talk about these ones but alcohol markers, Nina cardstock. If you happen to run out of Nina cardstock, you can use white smooth stamping card. Yeah. You will get the best result with Nina, but as I say, if you run out, don't worry and don't panic, you can be using white smooth stamping card. But because it's alcohol, it will start to seep through and believe you me, trust me, that's what you want. You do actually want it to see it bleed through because then you're getting that real coating of color. So let's go in, I'm going to go in with the turquoise blue for this one. Again, this is our tri-blends. And I'm going to go in with the base colour first. So I'm going to do his top. Now, all the other ones are little girls. This is a little boy, mm. of course. Because it's short hair, you could colour it. So it could be your daughter or your granddaughter. So you can absolutely do that. But what we're going to do is let's go in with the tur blue turquoise and I'm going to go in with the lightest tone first Ben and I'm going to coat the full area that I'm wanting to colour and it's what we're calling it we're priming the cardstock so we're giving that prime layer down then what we're going to do is we're going to come along and we're going to build up the layers of colour to There's colour so him much in. love coming in for the Connie Fong stamps um, Marisol saying these are so nice to colour um, Sue saying the angels would make uh, beautiful sympathy cards mm -hmm. um, Pamela saying this little boy reminds me of my son uh, when he was little and Sue just saying I love the fact that they put a boy angel um, in the stamp collections just, yeah it gives you more versatility doesn't it and um, actually Lots of love coming in for all the pictures that we showed as well. Uh, Beth saying such beautiful examples. Talented crafters out there with the viewers makes. And um, Lynn Harvey saying lovely makes uh, from everyone. It's great, isn't it? That's why I love it again here. The fact that you guys were sending them, you know, all the things that you've been making. It's great to watch the likes of Craig craft and pick up information and hints and tips and inspiration. But I think we get as much inspiration from you sending in your pictures as you get oh, yeah. from us. It's kind of a, a bit of a back and forth thing going on. And it actually, is. as we've seen there, lots of you get loads of inspiration from others of you out there too. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I try to do more and more, Ben, is on Instagram specifically, yeah. if you tag me in any of your makes, I'm trying to more and more share them onto my Insta story. Because, as Ben just said a moment ago, and I can speak for uh, all the, the girls on the team, and probably a lot of crafters out there, as you know, we do get inspired by seeing what you, you make. Yeah. There's things that you do that sometimes I'm like, gosh, I never thought of that. Yeah. Or, oh, I like that style, I like that design. So please, 
please, please, believe me. I know many of you, you will say, for any of us on the team, you'll say, oh my gosh, I, I, I can't believe that you can make incredible cards so quickly. Again, trust me again, it's not something I say a lot, but when we are doing our demos at home, we go through the same amount of time as you do at home, not happy with what's uh, coming out, what we're creating, the layout's not happy. The only reason it's quick on Crafters TV is because we have done the shortcut bits. Yeah. We've got each bit already uh, coloured and prepped the blue Peter to make bits. it quicker. Sorry? The blue Peter bits. The blue Peter bits. The bits already done. Mm. So please don't ever think that the speed that we do it on Crafters TV, that's what we do at home. Because believe you me, it's not. But I also think that, um, and, and a lot of people who watch us here will, will have seen it as well, we're not one of those channels that will, you know, if something goes wrong, as we've already talked about today, we're not one of those channels that we like, oh, quick, you know, go elsewhere, we'll put a v video on or something. We like to show you when stuff doesn't go quite yeah. right or stuff goes a little bit haywire because if it happens here, then, it, do you know what I mean? It happens at home, it happens here. If, if it happens to our guys, then, you know, it can happen to anybody. So it, it's good to know that as well, isn't it? It is, it is. And uh, Sarah will say herself uh, on a number of occasions, I like to pick it up as well. Of course, Ben, we're a crafting company, you yeah. know, and to, in order to bring more incredible products out in the future, uh, we have to make money to do that. Mm. But as Sarah will say as well, there is times that you might just want to use us for company, yeah. for inspiration. You might not have any intention of buying anything and you might not buy anything. That's absolutely fine. It's all about the inspiration and, uh, yeah, the company, if that's what you need. And then, of course, the bonus is we come along with incredible products, incredible prices, and also an incredible Club Inspire loyalty group. Yeah, absolutely right. And the amount of um, comments we've had, certainly over the last year, well, I say year, how long have I been here now? eight months um you know loads of you commenting just saying like you know during this time you've kind of got me through the lockdown you've got me through you know the pandemic you've been you know the company for me there when i've needed i mean that's great for us to hear and you know that's amazing like craig says if you, if you just watch us for that then amazing mm -hmm. if you've just watched us for that and then you picked up a a bit of a you know a crafty habit as well that's even more brilliant if you've watched us for that picked up a bit of a crafty habit and then decided to indulge in some crafty goodies too even better um, but that is what we are here for and I think that's why um, so many of you continue to come back and uh, watch us each and every day. Um, Sue just asking on YouTube, Craig do you have a tip on putting the dye over your coloured image? Say that again sorry. Do you ben? have a tip on putting the dye over your coloured image? Is this coming back to whether or not you cut it first and then stamp it or stamp it and then cut it? So it could be, it could be, yeah. Mm. So what I would say, if you are then going to colour, if you're obviously going to colour and then die cut, I would die cut first yeah. and then colour. Simply because if I colour this now, then I die cut, let's just say my die slips. Mm. You spend all that time colouring and then you might be able to salvage bits, but you might not. You're going, to, you're going to be annoyed at yourself, you're going to kick yourself that you spent all that time. So therefore, stamp it, die cut it. If the die cut slips, it's a bit of cardstock. All that you've done is wasted, what, about 20 Good seconds. Point. So anything like this, yes, I know I do say time and time again, if it's a stamp and die, I will like to then do uh, the die cutting first and then the stamping. And uh, on this occasion, I would do the stamping, then the die cutting, but then the colour. So then you've got that safety net, so to speak. So hopefully that is the question you were asking. Uh, let me know if it wasn't, but uh, a, a great tip uh, nevertheless um, as well. And again, interestingly, using the um, tri-blends and you going onto the hair here, and this is again where they come into their own a little bit, isn't it? It does. It really, really does. Going in with the tri-blends, and although we do have both on the show, we've got the, the brush as well. So the brush, tri-blends, this is where it is perfect for when it comes to your, the, the hair, the movement, the fur, you know, however, that's not to say that you cannot use your tri-blends, traditional, normal, yeah. original tri-blends for hair, because that's what I use majority of the time. But if you are looking to progress, then they are the, uh, the ones you'll get the nice movement. Uh, 
That was Sue's question. Excellent use, so we've answered that. Uh, Ruth says, Craig, you make me want to grab my markers and colour. I'm glad there is a male angel in the pack. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And, and as we said, you know, you've got the, um, you've got the girls, you've got the little boy there. And I, I think most of you will have um, twigged onto this as well, but with the li little boy here, with the um, animals, the little dog and the cat have got little wings as well. They do, it's don't they? Cute. I love the halo that you get with this particular um, stamp set as well. So you can put the little halo over the little boy's head if you want, or put it over the little, little cat or dog's head as well, which is very cute, very cute. And it's the little things, the halo separate. Mm. So instead of the halo being part of the image, it's a separate component, which means you can pop it where you like. So yeah. as you say, top of the head or maybe on the doggy, because obviously you get the little dog or the little pussy cat. So yeah, yeah you can decide where you want to pop it. Um, whilst you're colouring as well, Zena uh, says, you are a great inspiration to me. I have lots of products but so much can be incorporated into so many products and ideas. And actually, uh, Zena on Facebook uh, is asking for a birthday shout out from Craig for her birthday tomorrow. Uh, well, we shall... Uh, Should we do a well, wake up call tomorrow? Well, I was just about to say that. But we do, I'm in, well, I'm on wake up call tomorrow. So we'll, we'll do the birthday shout out tomorrow. Yeah. Do, that, or do you want it now? Zena, let us know. I reckon it'd be nice to do it on your birthday. Yeah. You know, do it properly on your birthday, but let, 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 let us know either way. We can, we can get him to do it now. I, can, um, I will absolutely do it now if you prefer. Maybe that you've got a busy day, maybe you're working, you know, maybe you won't catch us live. But as Ben says, let us know. We will, uh, we will do as you wish. I love the fact that we're doing shout outs today as well. Yeah. I feel like I'm, feel like I'm back in the radio studio. <laughs> but look at this. This is gorgeous. Coming along lovely. So you would then carry on colouring. Mm. What I will do quickly, so I'll show you the one that's finished, so you'd carry on. So just in case, to do this one, it's true blue, gold brown, blue turquoise, brown grey, and fair skin blend. So they're all the blends, that's what I used to colour this one. So we are going to use that one, but what I want to show you, Ben, remember how I was saying how you could chop away the wings and then you're left with an image that doesn't have the wings. Maybe you don't oh, yeah. want them part. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is let's die cut this one. And I'm going to pop the die on. So we're going to secure it. Let's run it through. So we're going to run it through our Gemini. And because you've got the outside die as well, they will go through um, your mini as well as your go. Just double, I will double check in a moment if all of them will go through, but this okay. one certainly will. So let's pop this one out now. So then what we could do is we can then follow the line and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round his arm. Now I would be more inclined to just finish this one off here and then I'm going to do the same into here follow round his arm and then we'll go in finish it off and then we've got huh. a lovely little boy cuddling his little doggy Brilliant. in his arms and then i would i would personally i would cut around making it a little bit closer you don't have to i like my fussy cutting so you can do that if you wish so let's assemble this one together now and I've got some layers and I've also got some die cut layers. And what I've already done, Ben, is stamped and colored all these little extra bits that come within Lovely that stars. one sheet, including the little halo as well. Yeah. So we'll pop it onto our card blank, five by seven, and we'll be left with a really lovely card. Lots of love coming in for the Connie Fong collection, the, uh, the Angel Inspiration. I'll recap on the boards for you in just a second, but if you want to pick it up now, you're already saving what almost £18 or nearly $15. It's uh, £60, $75, but then of course, how many of you are platinum? Pretty much all of you. So that's £48 or uh, $60 uh, to take this collection home. Really cute. Uh, loads of you saying how much you love it. Uh, absolutely brilliant as well for getting an excuse to get your pens out, uh, an excuse for trying the tri blends, you know, um, an excuse for getting your, you know, your aquatints out for. Um, whatever you've got, um, Georgina just saying in the gallery as well, um, th this is the kind of collection that, you know, could get you into colouring, that could kind of entice you into uh, giving it a go. Um, Pam Montenegro on YouTube just saying, I'm actually using that stamp right now. Well, bam, great minds think alike, eh? It is. Absolutely. Um, 
Craig, I love your show, says Sue on YouTube. You inspire me. Oh, thank you. And uh, Zena, apparently, uh, Wake Up Call is a show that she misses due to time, so if you could wish her a happy birthday, that would be marvellous. Sorry, Ben, I was in a uh, phone pad frenzy there. What's oh, uh, Zena, whose birthday is tomorrow, isn't going to be with us on Wake Up Call, so maybe in a minute, if you could just do a happy birthday thing. Well, that was... Zena. Zena, you said, yeah, yep. Yeah, song of and course. dance she had lined up for her. Let's do that. Let's pop this card together. Yep. So I can give Zena my full attention. Yes. Let's chop these bits off. Let's layer these ones up. Let's take my foam pad here. So I'm going to layer up with the stars. Let's even layer up with the sentiment. Pop a couple more here and here. And then I'm going to position my sentiment into there. I'm then going to come in with the stars. I'm going to do the stars over the top. And then what I'm going to do here is let's trim this a tiny little bit more, add that one on, and then we're going to pop that in. I did have gems to pop in the corner, but do you know what? I want to get another demo with Vintage Diaries. So there we go. So there's that one here. And then I'll show you the one I'd done last night. The only difference is to pop some gems in place here. Fantastic. So there we go. How cute is that? Really I love it. Cute. Absolutely uh, brilliant. L listen, let me just quickly show you the boards and then we'll get Craig to do the happy birthday shout out whilst he does the, uh, the lineup for your votes on demo of the show. All right, so with this collection, 76 elements you're going to get with this. Stamps and dies, of course, with your angel whispers. Uh, you've then got your beautiful angel wishes. Uh, this one here is your angel prayers. Then you've got the little boy that we just uh, saw there, the friendship angel with the little cat and the dog, which is super cute. There's your twinkling angel. Twinkle, twinkle, little angel. And your angel messenger. 76 elements in total, £60, $75. That is £48 or $60 if you're a platinum member. Uh, certainly worth jumping in for. Lots of you already got the collection um, and lots of you jumping in and grabbing it tonight as well. Right. Mm. Uh, let's quickly go over to uh, the other side of the studio and uh, hear from our Craig. And um, whilst we do that birthday mention, yes. let's also do the demo of the show vote. We will do indeed. So let's just say a massive, massive happy birthday to Zena for tomorrow. Happy birthday! Hope you have a lovely day. They're all saying happy birthday to you as well in the gallery as well. I hope you have a lovely day and uh, you manage to do a little bit of celebrating if you can. If not, get crafty. But for uh, you, have a lovely day. Happy birthday. And anyone else as well that's celebrating their birthday. Happy birthday from me and everyone here at Crafters Companion. Fantastic, there we go. Uh, let us get voting then on the demo of the show. It's gonna have to be a goodie because Sarah came up with a bit of a corker earlier on on, uh, on launch day. So uh, what can you tempt us with, Mr. Craig? Number up your makes, please. Okay, no, so let's dive straight in and then let's go for our uh, penny slider card. So we've got the butterfly. So let's say number one. Then let's say number two for Vintage Diary. Yep. Now, minus the little wax melt, because it's somewhere else. And then number Where's that three. Gone, then? I don't know where oh, it's went. Oh. It's disappeared. And then we've got number three, which is on about the, the angel's inspiration. So one, two, three. I get the vote is yours. I reckon you have about mm, three or four minutes. Uh, before we uh, will need then to vote on the demo of the day. So get voting on that. Uh, whilst you're doing that, thank you to Sue. He says, what an adorable card. Uh, just talking about Craig's previous card there. Uh, and Kay saying, that card is so stinking cute. I love that expression. Uh, Craig, I love the Connie Fong sets. If you love them, make sure you get them if you haven't got them already. Right, we're just going to quickly recap on the Vintage Diary collection because this is the one that you guys have been absolutely loving um, in this particular show. So I tell you what, I've not even got time to do these. Let's just have a quick look at the, um, the, the set that you're going to get. Everything within this. You've got um, within this collection your um, beautiful embossing folders. You've got uh, 2D and 3D embossing folders in this collection. There's that beautiful pocket watch with the stamp and die. You've then got your um, sentiment stamps. You've got your gorgeous dies here that give you the uh, beautiful um, paper detailing. More stamps there for that beautiful frame. We've got... Uh, 
um, even more stamps actually you've also got uh, your uh, metallic elements you've got your ribbon you've got your vellum and your paper you've then got your rub-ons you've got your uh, wooden frames you've got your wax seal and then finally you've got your uh, jute included too all of that for 103.90 or 139.50 um, Get 20% off that price as well if you're a Platinum member. We are going to squeeze in a demo whilst I just check out to see how you're getting on with your voting for demo of the show uh, and then demo of the day to finish. We've got all that to squeeze in in 10 minutes. So, Craigie, uh, what can you show us in about seven or eight minutes? Let's go for another one with the Vintage Diaries. And what I'm doing is, like before, my original one was with the paper pad. So let's change it up slightly and then let's use some vellum instead. And we're going to layer these up. We're going to use a few of the additional elements that come within the set as well. Yeah. So let's layer these ones up. So let's pop these bits to the side. And I'm going to bring these bits in now. Now, what I've done as well, when it came to the cardstock, I did use my crimpler. So let's very quickly go around when it comes. So I'm not going to do all the areas. What I'm going to do is one side, yeah. give you a grasp as to what I've done. And this works really well, especially with vellum, because you get that crinkled look, you get that cracked look, and then you get those little torn aspects as well. So what I would do is, as you can see here, that look there, very similar to the die that you get in that set, but you've done it yourself. What you could do is go all the way round. And what we'll do is let's layer these ones. Oh gosh, I've gone and done it again. I've done it earlier on thinking it was background paper. What have you done? And I went to use my tape runner. Ah. Although, in saying that, you know, you would get away with it. You do see a little bit of adhesive tape yeah. through there. Yeah. But if you were to maybe wrap twine or something around it, you would absolutely get away with using that. Oh, whilst you're sticking, we got a result. Just Ooh. so we can get the demo of the day vote done. Uh, demo of the show. Number three, the Connie Fong card. Shall Ooh. I come and grab that from you? Yeah. <laughs> then, then I can compare just so, so that you can carry on doing your demo. Connie Fong wins. Connie Fong. I did like that card, actually. It's a good choice. Thanks. Good choice. Um, just quickly then, so we can get the vote started. Just We'll just quickly come away from Craig. Demo of the day then. Uh, this was the card that Sarah made a little bit earlier on. Uh, Sarah's double dome card. All right, so if you'd like that for demo of the day, number one, or the card that you've just voted for, Craig's card using the Connie Fong uh, stamp and dies, number two. So there we go. Once again, just to quickly show you, number one, Number two, vote now. You have got ooh, four minutes to get your votes in uh, for your favourite. Uh, Sarah trying to make it a clean sweep of three in a row, um, or will you go for Craig's? It is up to you. Good luck. Choice is yours. Vote now. Who decide? Who wins? Who you wins? decide. Who decide? What's that from? Big Brother. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the dies that you're seeing there, by the way, um, in the original collection. Oh, have I used collection. one not in this set? Uh, yeah, oh. they're in the original collection. It's in not my included box. in this set. That's fine. I'll Just use so it anyway. Huh? I'll use it anyway. Yeah. 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 So what we'll do is let's take this tag. So you've got the little tag within this one here. And then what we could do as well, let's do it again within some white smooth card. And we're going to pop this one on. Let's bring in some Friar Brown that I've got here. And I've also got my blending pad. I just adore this collection, Ben. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really love it. Love what you can do with it. Love the different looks that you can have with it as well. Mm. Let's go in with my stamp set. Your ink pads as well, by the way. The fire brown is included in the little impacts ink pad set that we've put together for you, those um, opaque ink pads, so uh, pigment ink pads. So if you're thinking that you want to be able to uh, recreate, then uh, look on the show page for uh, those as five in total, including the fire brown, seal brown, smoke plume, and there's two others. I could probably just um, <laughs> reach to my left here and read them off the pads. Uh, straw bale, smoke plume, spa blue, seal brown, and then fryer, they said fryer tuck then, fryer brown uh, is included as well. 
Oh dear. Yes, it, fry tuck was um, Robin Hood's merry men. Man, merry man. One of his merry men, wasn't he? Yes. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> Look at what Craig's doing. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just laughing at you. I know. Just laughing at you. Six minutes till the end of the day. No rush. No. No rush. No. Fry our brown. You're back tomorrow, aren't you, Ben, with me? Uh, supposedly, yeah. Suppose. Yeah. I'm, uh, well, it's, it's, oh, it's the top team back together again. So we're, we're all here tomorrow morning. Same team. Me, Craig, George, and George uh, for uh, Wake Up Call. And then it's, uh, oh, it's me. Yes, it's Jan, isn't it, tomorrow? Double Jan day. Yeah, Jan's there, eh? Yeah, we've got Craft yeah. along. I wonder if I'll be crafting along with Jan again tomorrow. I haven't discussed it with her yet as to whether or not I will be. We're going to be looking at the, um, the delicate creator card dies tomorrow. She sometimes gives you a little goodie bag, doesn't she? The last three times I've done a craft along with Jan, I have actually crafted along with her. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Georgina's just saying she's spoken to Jan and she hasn't mentioned it. So that doesn't mean that we won't be crafting along together. Normally she gives me a little bit of a rundown. She, she helps me to a point with um, bits and pieces. And then I just, um, I just crack on. As you saw with the double Z fold card that I made. Was that last week? I think it was last week. That was a cracking card that you've done, yeah, you. project. I do, do you know what? I do enjoy it. And I, I think once, once we've moved up here, because a lot of you will know we're moving up this way with the family um, in August. I think I can't once we move up this way and the world... Has, um, the world has kind of got back to normal. Um, if I'm not kind of, you know, hanging out with this guy, uh, you know, and catching up with the team, I, I'm, I am going to put some more time into doing um, some crafting because I do enjoy it. I, I really do enjoy it. Uh, but I just, I just don't have a lot of time at the minute. I know, I know lots of people say, I really don't with the house moves and stuff going on. But yeah, it's going to be great. I, I literally can't wait till I, I, I'm up here. It's going to be great hanging out with you guys all the time. Are the kids looking forward to it? They are. Do you know what? I'm, I am looking forward to it. I'm the one that's just, I'm, I'm a bit of a worrier. I worry about everything. Oh, do you? Yeah, but my wife's looking forward to it. Uh, the kids are really excited. Um, so, and I'm the, the only one that's going, I'm really excited, but I'm a little bit worried as well. But it's going to be great. That will be good. Yeah. It'll be nice. Yeah. Less, tra uh, re less travelling for oh. you as well, which will yeah. help. Rather than four hours up the road, it'll be four minutes up the road. Amazing. So, um going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And it means, as I say, I can spend more time with you guys as well, which I, I truly mean, I'm going to love that. You know, not having to like, you know, dash off at the end of the day to, to get back home or whatever it might be. Yeah. And, and actually, how nice that the world's beginning to open up as I well, know. so we can yeah. all start doing stuff after work. And it is. And yeah, we can all like, you know, if, if, if everyone's up for hugs soon as well, we can start doing that. I mean, I know. On, I mean. so exciting. It is. It really is. It's going to be weird. What, hugging? Yeah, being able to... Obviously, I know we still need to stay safe in that, which yeah, obviously absolutely. we will do. Absolutely. But the fact that we're able to uh, give a hug again, it's so nice. Unfortunately, not nice for you guys that don't like hugging. But do you no. know what? We've been without hugging for some time now. So it's our time. It's our time. And there you go. Uh, a hug in a card right there, which is absolutely gorgeous. Again, such an awesome collection. Craig, if anyone's thinking, shall I, shan't I, they're sat on the fence with this collection, why would you say go for it? Instantly, straight away, you've got the cardstock to go with it colour-wise, but bring in any of your pastels, it's going to work well. Bring in any of your other vintage, it's going to work well. Your brights will work well. The fact is, great for your cards, of course. Think about your home decor, but then think about your mixed media. Think about your gran, your granddads, the old photos you've got, the black and white, the sepia, how well they're going to cross over. An absolutely exquisite collection with the key elements within this bundle here at incredible price as well i love it ben first time you've seen it you've loved it as well it's so nice yeah phenomenal 103.90 139.50 less you 20 percent it is a must-have if budget stretches to it today we've got the announcement of the winner of demo of the day in just a second but before that let me tell you what is coming up tomorrow here on crafters tv yeah, busy old day. We kick off, of course, with Wake Up Call. Top team, myself, Craig, and uh, George Squared featuring Cartload and Craft Along products. We're going to be uh, previewing a few bits and pieces as to what is coming up. Uh, and, of course, that Craft Along tomorrow, myself and Jan, is all about the uh, delicate creator card dies. If you want to craft along and you haven't yet seen the list, the recipe list, it's all there for you on our socials. 
Demo of the day, though. What did you vote for? Number one was uh, Sarah's double dome card. Uh, she uh, showed us a little bit earlier on. Number two was Craig's Connie Fong card. Could Sarah make it three days in a row? <gasps> No, Craig has done it today. Craig, your card has won demo of the day. Wow, I, I, thought, I thought she was going to tip me to that one there, tip me to the post, but oh, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations, Craig. That one we shall pop up onto our Crafty Walk of Fame. Don't forget, of course, as well, check out your baskets if you haven't yet got the uh, Hero Tool. Uh, that is tool. That is also available for you. Buy one, get one half price. All the details on the show page. Craig, thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, we will see you in the morning for Wake Up Call. Have a brilliant rest of your Wednesday. Bye for now. Bye.